Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Serious Tragedy Game, and we are returning to Let's Craft Democracy 4. We are trying to bring Spain into a modernist future. So let's see what's going on and what we can do. We've uh, basically played our first year, and we're now starting our second year of the first term. Now, things aren't looking necessarily great, because especially, well, we still have a deficit, our popularity is still incredibly low, and we still do have various crises. We made various steps to move in the right direction, I think, uh, but they haven't really gained so much traction yet. And that is a little bit because we've got so many stuff to deal, uh, so many things to deal with, that it's a little bit hard to keep focus. Now, I think our most important crisis here, thinking about this, is popularity. Popularity is awfully low at the moment, only 24%, and that is a big problem because we need to be re-elected because we cannot possibly get the achievements that we're looking for in a single term. That's the one thing. The second thing is, the lower our popularity, uh, the less we will be getting in terms of po uh, political capital, both directly from popularity, but also ministers are less likely to be happy uh, if their respective voter groups are not really satisfied. So. Yes, we do have different uh, crises, but I think this is the most important one, the popularity one. Now, how do we do address that? There are various things that we can do, but I do think it makes the most sense to focus here on the health crises. We've got three things going on. Uh, there's the respiratory disease. This is going to be difficult to get rid of in the short term because it does depend on too many environmental factors that just take a very, very long time to come into effect. So... I think this one probably will not be able to get rid of very quickly, which is a shame because it does uh, make parents very, very unhappy. So big issue there. The other two are a little bit more interesting. So let's start by looking at hospital overcrowding. Hospital overcrowding largely driven by two things, healthcare demand that brings it up and state healthcare service that decreases that. Again, very, very bad for parents, very, very bad for retired persons too. So we really want to get rid of that to increase our popularity with these two core groups, uh, which together I think make up around 50% of population. So there are two things that we can do here. Uh, one is we can increase state healthcare services that would drip, drive that down somewhat. The other thing is we do need to take into account healthcare demand. Healthcare demand is pretty high, does lead to hospital overcrowded. It also increases state health, uh, state health service costs. And remember, that is already our biggest cost item, so that might also help a little bit with our deficit here. Healthcare demand is driven by a lot of things. Um, there's technology. That will only go up as we are increasing our technology, because that's, after all, <laughs> the core of this game here. So that's going to be difficult. But we've got alcohol abuse. We've got uh, alcohol consumption. So these are things that we might want to look at. And remember these two, because they are going to come up in a moment again. Uh, there's also tobacco usage. We're going to try to address that already. And then there is health. So the better health is, the less healthcare demand there is. So that's kind of an interesting one, because let's look at health. Now, one of the things that drives down health is actually the alcohol abuse, and I think the alcohol consumption again. So again, these things do have a double effect on healthcare demand, both directly, but also indirectly, because they are decreasing health. The other thing to note here is the doctor strike is decreasing health and thereby increasing healthcare demand, which does lead to hospital overcrowding. Doctor strike in and of itself is again bad against parents. It's also driven down health, as we know, and it's again driven by a couple of things here. There's the state healthcare service, um, there is trade unionists and all of that, but I think the big one here is state healthcare service, and that has really the uh, potential, at least, to increase that by a lot. So I think that does answer what we need to do here. Both of these items here are in many, many ways tied to the funding of our state healthcare service, our national state healthcare service here. If we drive that up, doctors are less likely, so first of all, hospital overcrowding will go down because we are providing more hospitals, but also the doctor strike is gonna get away because they're gonna have better working conditions and that will translate into better health outcomes, which will again drive down healthcare demand, which again, makes it less likely that the hospitals are overcrowded. So I think one of our main objectives here is going to increase our healthcare spending, which is pretty high already. Um, and that is going to be a big issue because that is going to cost us around 5 billion here per quarter. So that is basically going to double our deficit. Big issue. 
The second thing that we do want to look at is again alcohol consumption because alcohol consumption just is way too high. It drives up healthcare demand, it drives down health, which again is driving up healthcare demand. So we do really, really need to address alcohol consumption. I think the way that we're going to do that is we could basically do either of two things. Now, one of them is the alcohol tax. Big issue here, it's bad for the poor, poor people. It's going to drive for poverty, going to decrease equality, basically because poor people are spending more on alcohol. But it does decrease alcohol consumption. So I think that is going to be an interesting choice here. The other thing is, we could of course straight out outlaw or reduce alcohol consumption and may place very strong restrictions on that. Now the issue is, young people hate that, liberal people hate that. Um, and I think these two groups are just a little bit bigger than the poor people who are anyway quite happy with us. So I think we're actually going to go for the alcohol tax increase here in a moment. We don't have enough political power to do that now, but the reason I'm bringing that up now rather than next turn is because let's think about what we could do to at least soften the blow on the poor people here and increase at least equality a little bit, prevent poverty. And I think the right way to do that is to look at something completely different, and that is free school meals. Because that is something that we can do, it does cost very little in terms of political power, it's going to improve the relationship with poor people, it's going to decrease poverty, it doesn't increase equality for some reason, uh, but still it's going to be good because it's also going to improve health outcomes, even though that's going to take a very, very long time here, and it's not actually that expensive. So I think this is a very good policy to do here. We're going to spend three political power to do that. So that's the one thing. Kind of took me long to get there. But the other thing is we're going to make an alcohol awareness campaign. Uh, I think that will um, sort of coincide very nicely uh, with the sort of more affirmative measures that we're going to look at in a moment. That is it for our political capital. So let's go to the next turn over here. See what is going to be happening here. So GDP is still improving. That is generally a good thing. And because it does, ooh, health is, is decreasing actually, poverty is decreasing, that's lovely to see. Crime decreasing, unemployment decreasing, a lot of good things happening here. I'm not sure why health outcomes here are suddenly looking worse. That I don't get. We'll need to look at it, that in a moment. Now, we've got the gig economy going on. That is something that we will just not be able to get rid of. And it does bring down uh, the opinion of trade unionists. And there's again just nothing we can do here because GDP and technology are going to drive that up to, to such an extent that it's it's more or less impossible to get rid of this. Um, on the other hand, it's not that bad. It drives up car usage a little bit. Trade unionists are unhappy. Capitalists are on the other hand a little bit more happy. So all in all, it's not the worst uh, effect to have. There's also a question here about flag burning law. Make that illegal or not? <sighs> Honestly, I don't really care. I'll let people do whatever they need to, uh, and then everyone can form their opinion about that. Patriots dislike that, of course. We've got a budget deficit of three billion, so that's still a big issue. And one of our ministers, Salomon Morales, who's uh, speaking for the parents and the self-employed, she really, really dislikes us at this moment. So we will need to look at that in at some some point as well. Right, that being said, our popularity here is, is further tanking. We're now sitting at 11%, which is horribly, horribly bad. So, here's what we need to do. Uh, let's basically briefly look at some of these issues here as well. So, I think the doctor's strike... Oh, it might actually go away on its own. Well, that's lovely to see. That's going to be very interesting. So, I think this is going to go away on its own next turn. So, that is very, very lovely indeed because it's below the stop trigger here as far as I can tell. So that will make uh, parents like us a lot more. And how about the hospital overcrowding then? Yeah, well this still is a big issue. We could of course try to get rid of the state healthcare service and, and sort of privatise that, but I don't think that's what we're going to do. I think what we're going to do instead is we are actually going to bring up our funding here and get into excellent healthcare provision. Um, it's going to make us a little bit healthier it is going to cost a lot of money, but I do think it's worthwhile. So let's spend 11 political power on that. It's a lot to do, uh, but I think it's just going to be all right, uh, all right to do that. Right, so that's uh, basically it, because we don't have that much political power to spend. So we are going to go for the... Yeah, trade unions really, really dislike us. And that, I think, is, is the big tanking moment here in our popularity. Um, 
not much we can do about that, I'm afraid, at this moment. Uh, right, anything else we want to do for, like, the two political power that we have lying around? How much are we earning? 13 or so. Right, and we could go for, yeah, these are useful things. But on the other hand, not the most important one. Yeah, I mean, cycling campaign, it's useful. It drives down car usage, various other usages. This is kind of nice as well. It actually drives up environmentalist income. That is interesting. Right. Um, anything else that we really, really want to assess? Well, the healthy eating campaign. It's useful as well as the keep the country tidy campaign. Um, drives up the environment. Makes environmentalists a little bit more happy. Don't think we're going to do that now because it just doesn't make that much of a difference right now this moment. Anything else that we want to increase or, or decrease over here? Right now, no, can't really see much. Well, free parenting class are useful and are very much appreciated by parents, but they do drive up the population, and so that's maybe not something that we want to do immediately. Right, um, I'm a little bit low, some to increase that too much because it would, you know, it does actually improve the environment by quite a bit, so we might want to consider this. But no, let's, let's not do that for now. I think it's going to be all right. This over here, no, it's it's all all right. You know what? Uh, let's simply go for uh, the cycling campaign here. I think it's just very nice if people do cycle a little bit more. Um, and it's going to bring down car usage by a tiny scooch, which is going to be helpful. Ooh, car usage. Did you rebound there? Yeah, I think you did. Oh, yeah, that's probably the gig economy. Gig economy is driving that up to, to a large extent. Yeah, we will need to think about measures to, to deal with that. That being said, let's hope that we're going to get rid of some of these issues here. And it does look great. So, I'm, I'm sorry, what? You've got my... Re keeping your promises. We never made a promise regarding... Regarding state healthcare services. Oh, that's, that's a bug, I think. Because we, we got out of the menu for a couple of times. Oh, that's a little bit annoying. Anyway, uh, we got rid of organized crime. That's good. We got rid of the uh, of the doctor strike. That is very, very good. Um, this event here does not help at the moment, um, but one of our ministers wants to talk with us in private. And you want us to do a business startup campaign. Honestly, I think it's not too bad because self-employed, um, they hate us at the moment. Capitalists would like that. No one really actively dislikes that. Only the proportion of socialists comes down. So you know what? We are actually going to do that. I think it's going to be all right. This is a little bit of a tricky one because it's going to increase membership in self-employed people as well. And they currently do really, really hate us. But I'm, I'm hopeful that they're going to be at least somewhat neutral over here. And it doesn't really cost us any money. So I think that's okay. Budget report, well, that's a bit of an issue because the deficit here is uh, sort of staggering. And you can see the global economy is turning around here. So that does mean probably we're very likely to see uh, a decrease in the credit rating. And that might, that might spiral out of control very, very quickly. Yeah, self-employed people hate us and trade unionists like, uh, dis hate us. So that's an interesting combination there. Uh, that being said, I think the parents should like us a lot more now that the doctor strike has ended. So that's good. And the hospital overcrowding, it's coming down here. And I think that's because healthcare demand here should start to decrease by quite a bit um, as our health outcomes are improving dramatically. So yeah, okay, that, that part is working already. Alcohol abuse, still an issue, but it is coming down. Um, and alcohol consumption is starting to tick down too. So I'm almost thinking that we don't need to increase alcohol taxes. That would be fairly lovely, wouldn't it? Oh, that might go down too at some point in the very near future. That's lovely. Okay, a couple of the issues here are, are, are retreating. So that's good for our approval ratings, but we do need to be a little bit better than that. Corporate exodus, that also starts to decrease, which might mean that GDP is gonna increase very soon, which unfortunately is only gonna bring up the respiratory disease. Can't do much about that, I'm afraid. Uh, we can't address every single thing at the same time. So, yeah, that's that. Right. You are very, very unhappy. I'm afraid I can't do that much for you. Parents are starting to, to look much better. And they're probably going to be better once the hospital overcrowding here um, has, has been reduced. But there's only so much we can do in that regard. 
Yeah, I think I think we can't do much. How's our productivity looking? That's not productivity. Productivity is the little, um, yeah, this one. Okay, it's ticking up. So that's good. Largely due to tech rants and stuff, but at some point you might get rid of the un uncompetitive economy if, if we do keep on improving that. Sorry, that's not that one. This one over here. It's still too high. It's not the most fundamentally problematic one, and we could, as some of you pointed out, uh, in in particular Otto Commodris, sorry for my name, uh, right, uh, we could include import errors here. That would be great. But as an economist, I just hate the idea, honestly. So yeah, we are not going to do that. I'm 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 just very sorry we can't. Right, rail rail strike over here. Okay, we did get rid of some of the drivers for that. But it's still a bit of an issue. Commuters dislike that. It's not the biggest deal. But then again, if you look at what our state rail company does for us at the moment, it's really not that much. Commuters are just brought up slightly. Other than that, we don't gain anything from that, really. Um, on the other hand, it does drive down our private rail infrastructure, right? So yeah, rail industry here, that's basically at zero. So that's not necessarily that great. We could try to get rid of that. It wouldn't be too bad. On the other hand, it doesn't do that much for our popularity. So I think what we're going to do instead is we're going to bring up the prison funding. Liberals love that. Even conservatives like that. State employees certainly love that. So yeah, I think we're going to do that. We're going to go for state-of-the-art prisons. Give people a chance here uh, to be subject to whatever regime in prisons we are choosing. But it is going to be, I think, the better choice. Right, so that's the one thing. Now, the other thing that we could do, what can we do with four, four political power? Honestly, not that much. We did the school meals, I think. Yeah, we did. So that is it, I think, over there. We could go for clean energy subsidies. It would be helpful, but again, environmentalists, they do like us anyway. Um, so I don't think we need to... Need to need to be too forward thinking for you. Okay, that we could increase, but not really to an extent that I I think would be worthwhile. So let's instead just go for the free parenting classes here and do just a couple of things that are just going to be popular uh, with a lot of people, because I think that is going to be an important issue here. Right, uh, farmers will dislike that. Yeah, it's it's more it's not really a, a, a type of very very popular assessment there. Tourism ad campaign, it's, it's helpful to increase tourism and foreign relations. Don't think we need that. It's helpful, but really not that much more. Okay, you know what, we're gonna keep the two political power here and we're gonna see what is gonna happen here next turn. Right, credit rating upgraded. Well, that is lovely to see. Capitalists like that, GDP, business confidence. That is very, very good. And that does decrease our deficit because our debt spending does become very low over here. Very nice. Yeah, even the global economy here is, is recovering a little bit. That's good. Ghettos are gone. That's also very nice to see. We've got a new donor here. That is nice to see. Poles are starting to look a little bit better here. Um, so that is encouraging. Look at that. Some people really do start to like us over here. Um, I would not have expected that. So that's, that's very nice here. Right, we're still getting some political power from our people here. Um, how about the hospital overcrowding? You are ticking down, you are, but only ever so slowly. And healthcare demand, that is coming down too. But yeah, the alcohol abuse, it should stop at some point. And at that point, that is also going to cost us 1.8 billion over here. So I think just improving health outcomes might just uh, decrease our incredible high bill over here of 20 billion. That's a quarter of our expenditure, so it's a big issue. Internet crime also seems to be stopping very soon, um, so that should help us out. And again, the alcohol abuse does also uh, fuel crime and stuff, so that's that's very nice if that could go away. Corporate exodus is going to go away. And the uncompetitive economy, that one we are still struggling with. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to look at the adult education subsidies, because that has the potential of improving education and productivity here. But it doesn't do that by a lot. And it's relatively costly, actually, to, to increase that. So maybe maybe not for the moment over here. How is alcohol consumption looking? Still kind of high. 
So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to raise that, but not to the full extent, uh, but basically only up till here. I think that's going to be okay. Yeah, let's do that. Um, hope that the alcohol consumption goes down a little bit. And that's going to be fine. The other thing, of course, that I want to do, and which I've been wanting to do for a long time here, is we're going to improve science funding. That has some very, very positive effects. Technology, energy efficiency, GDP, state employees. That's all very nice. Uh, the only downside is that's taking a long, long time here uh, to implement. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that anyway now. So I think that's nice and a good thing to do. Reforestation, useful, but not immediately so. So that's okay. How about tobacco usage? Yeah, we did the awareness campaign, but it's still ticking up, which does incre increase the respiratory disease. It's just coming down ever so slightly. What can we do then for our environment? Not much over here, honestly. Well, we could do the, the keep the country tidy campaign. We could go for the, yeah, you know what? Let's uh, go for the bicycle subsidies. Again, anything that, that brings down car usage is, in my experience, something very good because car usage is such a difficult thing to tackle. Yeah. Don't have much political power left, so we don't have that much room to maneuver here. Clean energy, environmentalists. It does have a fairly big impact on the environment and on CO2 emissions, actually. So, yeah, let's do that. It's only going to cost us one political power, which is also kind of very nice, actually. So, yeah, I think that's okay. Junk food tax. Interestingly, Spain doesn't have a problem with obesity, as sort of most, most other countries do. I think it's hard-coded in because of the effects of uh, basically the Mediterranean diet. But, yeah, I think it's okay. Right, looking good to me. Okay, yeah, you know what? Let's let's increase tourism a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna drive up air travel, but it's also gonna help our economy a little bit. So I think that's a good thing. And we are starting to make some strides here towards where we ultimately want to be, right? With the science funding, with the tech colleges. So slowly but surely, we are getting there. Okay, corporate exodus and internet crime has ended, which basically maxes out our GDP. That's an interesting one because we can now think about things that are going to decrease GDP um, and potentially give us a little bit more money. Right, people smuggling, do we allow them to stay? Do we deport them? You know what, let's uh, let's leave them here. I think that's okay. We are being a little bit compassionate here. We've got a situation that's imminent. That's a real estate bubble. Yeah, that's unfortunately one of the things that GDP does, does fuel. So a high GDP is lovely, but it does have various negative effects. And uh, we've got a small surplus over here, which is very, very lovely to see. Uh, and I'm extremely happy about that. How's our popularity looking? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay. We are making some strides here. That is fantastic to see. I would love for that hospital overcrowding to go away though. But unfortunately, we really cannot do anything more to fund our state healthcare services. It's just we have maxed that out already. Can we do anything about here in the healthcare demand? Tech, well, it's going to take up. These two things are going to come down, especially alcohol consumption should start to diminish over here uh, with the higher tax and the awareness campaign. Awareness campaign is actually going to take a long time to be implemented, but alcohol abuse is going to go away. That's actually going to increase our money that we are bringing in here. So that is fantastic. That is already very good. Um, it does give us some effects here that we can use to spend on some of the very useful things, I think. Now, for example, the free eye tests here. Poor people like that. Poor people like us anyway, though. Capitalists dislike it. Socialists, yeah, I think it's not a bad, bad choice here. Retired people do like it too. It's relatively expensive for relatively minimal um, effects though, so maybe no. Public libraries are just generally a very good thing. Education. How's our education looking actually? So it should be relatively high. Yeah, we don't need to do too much, I think, here to, to max that out. So I don't think I don't think we need to be too concerned here. I think we can just go ahead and try to find some things uh, that are just gonna be very popular with everyone. We do need to be mindful about the real estate bubble though. Uh, wealth problems are an issue, so 
I think rent control. So there are two things. We could go for rent controls. Capitalists really like, dislike that and private housing would of course come down. Uh, and again, as an economist, I just hate the idea. Um, the slightly better idea might be to do private housing, uh, sorry, state housing, which is over here. We're not really spending a lot on that for now. In fact, we do generate some income from that, interestingly. So what if we increase that to over here? Well, it does unfortunately have the effect of driving down private housing. Equality and all of that would help, but... Okay, yeah, let's try to build some things as the state. What's the functional form over here? I dislike it. I dislike it. Okay, let's spend three political power on, on this, just to maybe try to avoid the big issue here. Uh, with the real estate bubble. I'm kind of doubtful that we are going to get to stop that because GDP is so high. But maybe it's going to help a little bit. Maybe. Okay, so let's look at uh, some of these things here, especially productivity. So we've got technological grants. We've maxed that out. So that's nice to see. Uh, but what else could we do? Adult education. I think we looked at those. Now, the State Postal Service, this I think is a very interesting one because it's incredibly inexpensive, uh, but it does have the potential to, to drive up productivity by a whooping 5%. That's really quite a bit. So, let's do that. I think some people do like that. Um, so, that's lovely to see. Anything else over here? Now, yeah, I think the... Okay, let's do the Keep the Country Tidy uh, campaign because it's going to help the environment and we just need to get rid of the uh, respiratory diseases at some point. So I think that is going to be all right. Right, and you know what? We could go ahead and do the art subsidies here. Liberals do like that. Foreign relations are good. Tourism is good. Education is okay. We don't really need to draft that up too much. I think that's going to come very natural uh, with the various sort of environmental things that we're doing here. Right, good news. Credit rating is upgraded again, which does mean our budget is now a whopping six billion in surplus. Uh, because we're basically, no, we're still spending six billion on tapped interest. Uh, but it's good to see a surplus over here because that will mean uh, that gradually our interest expenditures are going to come down, which means more income, and that's lovely. Oh. Bad news we've got a ministerial resignation here, and we've got a civil servant strike, so that's not good. But the alcohol abuse has come down, so that's 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 good. Uh, what are you warning me about? Pollution. Okay, yeah, that's not imminent. That's just really going to happen very, very, very clearly. So, big issues here. The environment is just not going to take that away as quickly as we need. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to go for much more reforestation here. has a big impact on respiratory disease. It's going to be helpful for the environment and just does good things for us. So that's okay. Budget surplus, that's nice. How is our poll situation looking? Okay, not that great because of what exactly? Yeah, because everyone was just a little bit screwed. Hmm, that's not nice. Okay, you people do look okay-ish, except for that person here. Now let's, uh, let's see what, who we can hire here for the economy. Now, ethnic minorities and poor people, you do like us actually. So that would not be the worst person to pick. Your loyalty is a little bit better now, but with parents and self-employed people, I mean, self-employed are pretty much on the bottom of the of the pile here, so we really, really kind of dislike us. Retired and liberals, I think you guys do like us a lot more. So that's a promising pick over here. Trade unionists, no, they hate us. They absolutely do. I think we probably gonna go for Constanza Marinaire. So where are ethnic minorities? Over here, poor people like us a lot. 1.3. You're you're 1.5, so that's slightly better, but you do have a little bit more experience here. So yeah, we're gonna go with Constanza Marine over here uh, as a replacement. That's lovely to see. 13 political power. That's not a lot. Again our popularity could do a little bit better over here. But, that being said, we are about halfway, we're pretty much exactly halfway into our first term over here. I'm not sure whether we're going to get a second one, but 
I think this is a good place to put in a cut. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, do feel free to give any hints down in the comments below. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.